Put a pin in that. Yeah, we'll put a pin in that. So for my topic, kind of goes towards the re- release of Fallout, but I did. I've touched on this, but I never really discussed about it. And I was having a good discussion um, a couple days ago about this open world games and the oversaturation of it. Okay. There's too many. Okay. Like, so to think about it, and I, I'm not pointing at Fallout. Let me just kind of you know describe this here. For the past, really this past year, it's been nothing but open world games. Yeah. If you really think about it. I'm really blanking on a non-open world game that I've played in the last year. Call of Duty. Well, as far as like yeah, that's ruling that. out shooters. Yeah, the traditional shooters. Yeah, the traditional ruling out shooters. shooters. But then even, yeah. Yeah. I had to think about it, but yeah. I really... Everything is an open world game. And the fact is... They're being open world for the sake of being open world, and sometimes that's boring. It's the fact that games don't have to always be an open world game. Consider, uh, consider Metal Gear. Now, I don't really... I, I consider it an open world game, but not really, because the way I play it, it's not really open world to me, because I just jump into a mission and go to the place. Mm-hmm. But it's still open world. But that game doesn't need to be an open world game. It's just found the dated, it, it was found dated on a story driven experience. Every game was kind of based off a story driven experience. Every game is involved. It just evolved from it based on the era. But the fact is, it's like they're just doing this so just because it's the it's the new thing to do. Yeah, and they're doing this just, just like zombies was the thing to do. Yeah, it's, it's and it's thing, becoming too much. It's a thing that people have gotten into. A lot of developers think that the biggest thing people want out of games isn't just the open world, but people want choice. People want options in games. It's yeah. a, it's I don't want to go there. It's world. like Fallout. Like my objectives over there. What's that thing? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> now, there's it can be good and bad. Point in case, Fallout Four. Amazing. It's an open world game, and I'm enjoying being in it. Yes. Like, because there's fun stuff to do for me that's pulling me in and making me want to be a part of this world. Other than being forced to be a part of the world. A.K.A. Witcher. Like, I'm actually knocking Witcher on this because there was so Mm. much shit to do, but I did not feel a part of the world. Yeah. There's Mm. too much. It's There's too much. It's very, very bogged down just by quests. I'm (laughs) like, I turn in a quest, I get five more. I'm like... But that's the thing, too. Like, even in Fallout, I've been... That's happened to me a few times where I get a million other quests. They go... I, I don't but know. It's I mean, nicer. I don't want to say they like, go about it But you don't feel the need to do them all right then. You don't feel the need to do them at all because... It's just like, okay, I'm going to tackle this when I want to. Because with yeah. The Witcher, yeah. it was questing. And that's that. Yeah. In Fallout, it's like, I'll get these missions, but it's like, do I want to do this mission? Do I want to go work on my settlement? Do I want to just go get lost somewhere? Exactly. Right. And then... And that's... And I know you're going to have stuff to say about this, and you may too, but that's why I did not like Skyrim either. I didn't like being in that world. To be honest with you, it was boring to me. Like, I'm not trying, I'm not trying to be an asshole with it, but it's just... Your argument is valid. There like, isn't as much to do. There wasn't do, as much, and I didn't feel a part of it. Like That's just because of the setting, the atmosphere, how it's you know medieval and fantasy. But mm-hmm. if you're going to be an open-world game... You want the character to feel like you're a part of this world that you're you're wanting them to explore, and when they don't do that, I feel like the game fails at that. And then if you don't remember really the story in the game either, then it really fails. Because I was even talking to Chris before we got here. I don't really remember the opening of Skyrim, <laughs> like the opening opening, like, like how like I got I to don't the first remember town, anything you or anything. I really don't. It you were part of another group that was escaping with the storm cloud. Storm, yeah, storm well, clouds. you were being you were being caravaned in as prisoners, and you were going to get executed. And then you were just Alderaan part. Alderaan comes in you were just like in a bad up. place at a bad. You're just you're just a wrong place, but wrong how did time. You the, the first town, like I, I don't remember it, even the game I opens remember up how with I played you. it. Like, you were with the leader of the storm cloaks and couples other people, and you just happened to it was like a wrong place, wrong time thing. And they just collect you up like you're the rest of them, and you're the rest of your execute because they f- assumed you were with them. You're you're a prisoner. That's like why you weren't on the list when they're right literally on, the list. on a caravan in handcuffs, being transported to the town to be executed. 
I'm trying to remember. <laughs> I, I, I really, I really do. Like, I'm not really trying. I'm not. I'm not I trying to not. To each his own. I mean, that. but and that's the thing. Like, I feel like that's the judgment for me. It's like I remember, and this was an older game before Skyrim. I remember exactly what I did in Fallout Three the first time. I remember what like, I did too. Restart the game about five times. What? I restart the game about five times. Why? I just I kept running. This was like when I first got into Fallout. I could not. That's actually pretty funny. I didn't like Fallout at first because I could not figure it out for the life of me. <laughs> and now we're here. I obviously love it, but I restarted the game a, a few times. I just. What the fuck am I doing? Where am I going? <laughs> but but yeah, then that's that's the, that's the beauty of it. Where I, mean, I, would, I would agree the Skyrim story isn't the best, but I'm like I never got bored with it. See, and yeah, I mean, I guess that's it's a case by case basis with, with different people. Like, I I don't really like medieval time, like you know, setting. But then I I'm okay with it <sighs> for most part. I prefer them over like an open world gun. That's why I prefer Elder Scrolls over Fallout. But see, and then that's the thing too. Like, I got I guess it's just. I want to be... There's more things I, to interact with in Fallout because yeah. of what it is. And the thing is, is like, I guess I'm just I'm wanting to be a fan of Elder Scrolls, but I just it's not for me, I guess. Well, wait another five like, or six years. We'll get Elder Scrolls. <laughs> and then, like, I've even 30. tried that MMO thing. I could not stand that game. All was my friends were into Elder Scrolls Online. All my friends were into it. It's free to play, and I'm just like, I'm guys. They got up to like level forty, and I'm like, I'm sitting here at level it's ten. I'm like, fun. guys, it, this is. I'm so bored. It's, I can't. It's do even this. worse than Skyrim. It's so boring. It's so boring. Like, and that's the thing too. I'm like, okay, maybe this one may pull me in. And I'm like, nope, this is worse. They, it was. They took what everyone was wanting was just be able to play with more. Than just yourself, and they and you, they just you know you would blew think by up. now with MMOs they get the formula way. right, and I'll tell you who did. Yeah. And I've said this before: Final Fantasy XIV, best MMO out there. It's the best MMO I out there. I had fun when I did play it. A and I'm bit. not saying that because I'm a huge Final Fantasy fan. It is and that's literally a big, huge map too. Like it's huge, and they they did that game so well. And they even I applaud Square for saying coming out and apologizing for how terrible the first Final Fantasy XIV was. And yeah, like, they're like, I, uh, we're scrapping it. We're doing it again. And I, it's the best MMO out there. I was a part of that one. Were you really? Yeah. I was waiting for <laughs> I was waiting for it to come out on PS3. And it, yeah, well, I was I mean, a part of that one on the PC. It so. was not good. <laughs> it, was, it was too many bugs. Way, way too many bugs. Speaking of MMOs, you see the, uh, the trailer for uh, Warcraft? The Warcraft movie, yeah, oh. actually looks pretty sweet. It does look, and I, I think this is going to be the first video game adaptation movie to it's really. It's animated. It doesn't count. To me, it doesn't count because it's not That's a live true. action. Yeah. It is. There's and it other. Isn't. I mean, there's, there's actors, animated, but like, there's other animated things. I can't remember where there's other no, game I, animated. I agree with you right? because otherwise you'd be like, well, there's, yeah, there's but there's a far, person that dressed as an orc. As far right. as video game movies being terrible, I think this could be the first video game movie to actually be good because but they don't have a story to go on. They can do whatever they want with this movie. But it doesn't it's, count. Though. So yeah, it doesn't it's count for that like, reason. They're not the going like, to like ruin. They're not going to like have it, fans in the movie like they got this wrong. It doesn't count for exactly those two reasons. There's no story, and it's CG. They don't have know. anything to fuck up. All they have to do is make it look like the characters in the game, and then yeah, it's just like taking right. something like okay, there's orcs. Now we can make the them one, look like this, and let's create something. Now the one story game that well, it's just story game game to movie that I'm excited for that may change it is the Assassin's Creed movie. That because too. that's actually being heavily like made with an injunction of Ubisoft. Mm-hmm. Also, so that may be the one. Michael frickin' Fassbender is. The, uh, the, is the assassin, the assassin and it looks so badass. yeah. <laughs> but anyways, yeah. I mean, that's that was another good open world game too. Like, yeah. But it's just there's so goddamn many. I think really them, the and only all the same exactly. And then that's the thing too. Like it's fun. And then I played a little bit of Assassin's Creed, and I haven't came back to it. But even before Fall, it came out because it feels the same. It's like okay, let's go do this. Take back this they district, basically keep then, the open world aspect, but they. It's, the, it's like it's Far Cry, over and over and they, over and over you know, and over again. It's the same world, but then they're like, "All right, you can do this combat thing now." 
you can do this combat thing now. You can buy these things now. That's it. Like, it's a cool <laughs> environment and everything. Like, I want to explore, but then there's really nothing to explore, like, say, Fallout, where you're going around and you're like, they still, hey, what's this, you know? You know, and another thing with game developers not understanding their consumer base, fucking do a feudal Japan Assassin's Creed already. Just fucking do change, it. Fucking change the traversal already. Change traversal. Brand new setting. Do <laughs> feudal Japan. I want to be a fucking ninja already. Damn it. it, it I want to be a ninja. <laughs> it was, you know what? For the fact they did do that, it's called the 2D game. <laughs> oh, that's right. They did that. But that doesn't count. Fuck them. <laughs> well, they, they sure as hell think that count. Or they'll just make it like a ninja guiding game. No. Assassin's wow. God, the ninja, ninja guide. Guide. Wow. original ninja guide. <laughs> like, hardest games ever. <laughs> Still never beat any of them. Oh, I have. I have I got frustrated. I beat just like with Dark Souls. Two. I don't. Play the... I mean the first one. The second never one. Never beat the first one. I got all the way to Mentor. Mentor I could not fucking do. Are we still talking about... Which one are we talking about? I'm talking about... We were on open like world games. That was the topic. So. Yeah. <laughs> no, I meant like what he was about to say. I'm, I'm talking no about the newer, the, newer, the newer Ninja Gaiden. Oh, yeah. yeah. Not the old one. Yeah, I thought you were talking about Dark Souls because they just brought that up. But, I mean, that's another open world too, I guess. <laughs> kind of. They do that game right, though. Yes and no, it's an open world. Yeah, when you go into the wrong area, you know you fucked up. I love that. When you go into any area, you I always fucked up. I absolutely love that's that true. the game is open to you completely. <laughs> already. Like, you don't have to go unlock places. Like, that's what game. Like, that's there's what game no should be, indicators like you shouldn't be here right now. That's okay. That's one thing I don't like about Fallout. This is upsets me because this is kind of how Elder Scrolls is. And that's how I like it. Okay, hold if on. You, this, 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 okay, yeah. We'll hear him out. In, in, we'll hear him you out. go to in Fallout, you may have um, like doors or terminals and shit that you can't hack into because your shit's not high enough. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Whether or not your skill level was even near it in Elder Scrolls, you could do it regardless. I don't like how Fallout stops you. I, I get what he's saying. Like, you could lockpick stuff that. Y if you were under leveled in Skyrim, yeah, on a lockpick, you could still attempt it. You're gonna, you're not gonna get it. You're and if you do, it, it just yeah. jumps and your shit up yeah, really, and if really you high. We're able to get it. It would like really level oh, you okay, up. I do remember that. In Fallout, if you don't have master lockpicking, they're just not. Like the first let I saw them, I, I don't really. And I never, it, I never found that to be a detriment. Yeah, I, mean, I don't like. Because I'm just like, oh, okay, I'll level. Because that's how I do. I have, like, when I start an Elder Scrolls game, I won't really touch the story unless it's like kind of like kind of tosses me into it. I just go out adventuring shit. It's kind of. And I find a door or a chest. I want to be like, I have a couple lockpicks. It's on master level. I want to give it a shot. It's kind of funny. Go to Fallout. It's like you can't do your hacks not high enough. Fuck you. It, that's when you get Nick Valentine. It's. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny that you don't like that because I actually... I love that. I love that. Because it's like, oh, it gives me a reason like, to go back. Exactly. It gives me a reason to actually go back to this You can place. still go back if you can't get it open. I know, but then I'm like, I'll see... Some, this is like... And then it's rewarding if you do get into it. Yeah, but like I saw a master, like it was a huge... There was a plane crash mm -hmm. site. I don't know if you've been to that yet. I've seen it in the distance. I didn't go to it. Really cool. In the back of it, there's a... It's not just like a a chest it's this enormous silver like bunker to unlock at master mm -hmm. and i had like expert at the time so i'm like sweet i'm gonna i know that's there and i'll come back i won't say anything further but it was that worth it sweet it was worth it so <laughs> it's kind of at the top of the map in the middle so okay and it's the indicators like an actual airplane on your map so when you're getting close to it i gotta remember exactly where yeah <laughs> I remember seeing it before, and I just—it's like go flight, to flight nineteen eighteen or something like that—is the place it's called, something like hmm. that. But it's like it's like a crashed airplane site. I Did you see the Cheers place? No. What? There's a Cheers location. That's amazing. Where's it at? Is it in Diamond City or no? No, it's. I, I have to find it. Okay. Because it, it was um. It's not a college I, hall, is it? Huh? <laughs> it's not a college hall, is it? No. I haven't been to college hall yet, but I was no, told it's, not it's to go. A, <laughs> Everybody's like, "Don't go there." Yeah. Ooh, it, synth. It, it wasn't bad. It wasn't <laughs> bad. I mean, I was cut off guard first time I went there, but you know. Is there an actual Diamond City? Yeah. Where the fuck is it? Dude, just progressing the story. <laughs> I need to sell shit. <laughs> Dude, you it, it's like down the <laughs> map. It's pissing me off. I'm going to, dude, to go to Diamond City. There's vendors I haven't everywhere. Gone yet. There's vendors everywhere. Yeah, they have like 50 fucking like, bottle yeah, caps. Yeah. I need someone who's got a grand on them. 
Yeah. Get the perk that... Actually, I found a magazine that has every vendor everywhere has 100 more cats The first now. time I find it, all he does is, sell, yes. is buy fruit from me. I don't want to sell fruit. I get 20 wrenches in me to sell someone. <laughs> I need that fruit, man. My people need to eat. Right. Exactly. <laughs> I don't sell fucking Shit. food. I need those damn Tato's. <laughs> <laughs> Tato's and Tato's. Tato's, Tato's, Mentos. Those tato's yeah, tato's 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 yeah, yeah, but yeah, I get likeness. I don't know what the fuck it means. So pretty much like say if there like was a luck, like a word that says luck, and it says there was one likeness, one of the letters is the word, the right. part of the, the password. So yeah, so say it's luck, you have one and likeness then, on it. So say it's the U. So that so the word that it's the, the password is gonna have like a U in it. A U in okay, it. Okay, so if it's two likeness, then there's, there's two words, two, two letters. Two letters, two two letters, letters in that word. word. Yeah. Okay. It's really like and it looks complicated at first, but it's really if you're scrolling, that's what I guess, if you're scrolling through the symbols, um, there's a way to remove duds and like get rid of false ones. It's easier to just scroll through everything, but if you see like a like parenthesis here ones. and a parenthesis here, mm -hmm. if you're like scrolling across, it'll like highlight that whole row of symbols, and, and then if you, you hit A it. on that or whatever, it'll remove a word. And then you can even get retries okay. too that's, sometimes. That's what comes I in handy a lot when you do an advanced terminal. Yeah, because I haven't been locked out of a terminal yet, and I'm still on my one. I'm still on my one Bobby fallouts. They I don't lock you out of terminals in this yes, game. Yes, I know. They I don't lock you out of terminals. Out. You get locked out for like a couple seconds. A couple and, and, seconds. And then you go they right literally back in. lock you no, out of I was terminal just a terminal. I've been locked out of one terminal. Completely? Yeah. How? Um, how? I have no idea how. Did you not just go back to it? Because it takes 30 oh, seconds. No, yeah, no, no, never mind. I had to find a password. Never mind. Okay, so yeah. So some of the terminals have passwords to find in other places, but yeah. Fallout 3 in New Vegas, you just get you locked fucked. out. Of, you're fucked. You get yeah, locked you out of terminals. Once you fucked up, you're done. <laughs> I'm still my one bobby pin. I'm so pin. glad that that's so forgiving. <laughs> I've opened up like 15, 20 things. I'm still my one bobby pin. I have wow, like, man. man, I was really, I've, I've got I was like really struggling on bobby pins the first time. I, ha I have to have like 200 bobby pins at this point because I have Master and I found a magazine that makes lock picking easier. The lock picking <laughs> in Fallout 4 is the same as Skyrim, so I've like yeah. pretty much already mastered it. I, just, yeah. I mean, lock picking is really the same almost in any game. Yeah. I, well, I'm like trying to think of a game where it's kind of different. <laughs> the only I one I I those are the ones, those are the newest ones I can think of. It was kind that of that one's like Splinter Cell. Is it? I never played Dishonored. I just I, I've seen it. <laughs> I know. I never no, played that game. No, that one was the same. That one was the same because it had the whole like yeah, that was the same. So 